So, I haven't used Nintendo in a long time, and I totally forgot when the cartridge isn't making a good connection with the system, the power light will blink over and over again. So, I guess the system isn't technically broken, it's just acting the way it should be. I'm going to try this one more time. Um, I put a Q-tip somewhere around here. So, in my last video, I did a one where I was just blowing into this, like this. <sighs> And then I put it into the system, press it down, and press power. And you can see it's blinking right now, and it just can't read the cartridge. So the next step I can try doing is, I haven't blown into the system, so I can try blowing into the system over here. You don't need to see it. So I just blew into the system. I'm going to try it. Hopefully I didn't make things worse. And it's still blinking power. Now, it is a little annoying because if I put in a, a different game like Excite Bike, it'll probably work. And it works. Power's on, sort of. I'm getting the purple screen. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna blow in this cartridge. Now it's doing the whole. It's working now. So this Zelda cartridge isn't working too, too well. Blowing in the cartridge as well as blowing into the system didn't work. So I'm going to try the Q-tip trick. It's kind of dirty, if you can see. Trying to focus. So you can see, it got some dirt. I'm gonna try cleaning it some more. Took out some more dirt. Plugging in. Turning on. Still not working. So it's related to this cartridge somehow, and I can't get it to connect well, and so, sadly, The Legend of Zelda didn't work for me today. As people said, I can even take an eraser and try to clean it off. Um, I wish it would just work. It's just not reading. So we're going to call it a day, part four of my old Nintendo adventure. I may try using an uh, eraser on it, but normal blowing and cleaning with the Q-tip didn't work for me. So over and out.